Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 on problems on one dimensional truss analysis. Here I am showing a demo on problem 2 which I have already started in session 1. This is problem 2 session 2 on typical railroad bridge problem analysis using ANSYS release 14 of mechanical APDL. The problem was this. The problem this problem we have already started. As you know already this entire cross section was 3250. That means there are 11 elements here. All cross section 3250. It is a steel bridge. It is 200 GPA. 200 GPA. That means only one real constant and only one material. Okay. That means in this problem there are so many loads and all that. Okay. This we have to apply. But right now we have completed till we have completed till pre processing stage. That means we are not going to solution phase. See here, list you see here, list key point coordinates only. You see here, plot controls, numbering, key point numbers you make it on. Just say OK. And then you get the key point numbers and all that. This is key point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is key point numbers. OK. Then if you see list key points, whether you are entered correctly or not, this you please check. Otherwise, if there are any mistakes, immediately you can correct it. Now you just say, one is, one is 0, 0, 0, key point 1. 2, 3600, 0. That's also correct. 3 is 7200, 0. 4 is 10800, 0. Is it okay? Then 5 is this. It is this, 1800, 3118. And 5 is 1800, 3118. Then 6 is 1800 plus another 3600. That is 6 is 5400 and 3118. That is also correct. Then 7 is 9000 and 3118. In that way, these are all the key points. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 5, 6, 7 are the key points. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 are the element numbers. Okay. This we have done. Okay. Now what you do is, now we go for this, uh, 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 that is uh, solution phase, where we load that and also we will apply the boundary conditions and all that. Okay. Uh, see here. Now as you know here. You already know. There are 11 elements here. Please be careful. 11 elements have already been made. This you have to keep confirming. Because if you have not made this as an elements. The solution will not be done. Okay. Now what you do is. Loads you go. Define loads. Apply. Structural displacement. On key points. You click on this key point. And all degrees of freedom, you are rest here. Okay. All degrees of freedom, you are rest here. Then here, there is a roller load here. UX should be allowed. Okay. Structural displacement on key points. You take this and say okay. And then what you do is UI and UZ. Okay. UI and UZ, you make it zero. Let UX be there. Okay. Arrest UI and UZ. Okay. UX will be there. Did you follow? UX means... The movement in x direction will be there. Okay. Y and z have been arrested. Okay. In the same way, then force moment you take, force moment on key points. See here, at this point, at this point, you see here, there is a load of 280. You just have to, that is Fy in the, the direction minus, minus 280 E3 you take. Minus 280 E3 is that. Okay. That is in the negative, uh, Y direction. This is Y positive is this. Negative is this. Force moment on key points. At this point you see. This is OK you say. This is also FY. It is minus 210. Minus 210 E3. You just apply. OK. This is minus 210 E3. Then force moment on key points. Again you take this. OK you say. This is. Minus 280 E3. 280 E3. Okay. This also you apply. And then force moment on key points. You take this point also. Just say okay. F5 is. It is minus 360 E3. Minus 360 E3. Okay. 360 E3 you apply. Now as you see here. This solution phase is the applying the boundary conditions and all that I've done. That means here 
it is 280, 210, again 280, 360, E3, all in negative Y direction I have applied. It's all uh, that is facing downwards. I think it is correct till now. Okay, you can save up to this FDB. Okay, then what you can do is, then solution, solve, current load step you do. Okay, if you do this, if you're done correctly, as I've been telling you, the solution is done, message should you get it. Now you have got it. That means you are in the right track. Okay, once you do this, once you do this, okay, now what you do, your solution is over, general post process you go. The important thing here, you see, if you go for reaction solution, that is one of the things what I've asked, all items I've told you, okay, you see here, the reaction, what you should know here is, see, on x direction, this is negligible, e to the power of minus 9 and all that, forget about that. This is 1 and 4, key point, that is node 1, this is node 4, or key point 1, key point 4, both are same, here at least, okay. This is 1, this is 4, okay. And you have, because of these loads, you will have the reactions developed only at the support. The support is here, support is here, F5, you see. This summation of this, this is all in negative direction. That is, this is minus 280, minus 210, this is minus 280, this is minus 360. The summation of these two, these four, should be equal to the summation of these two. That is balancing forces, okay? 0.5133 into 10 to the power of 6, 0.61667 into 10 to the power of 6, that is positive. This summation should be equal to summation of these four, uh, uh, four these forces applying to the negative y direction. Okay. This you check. This is the thing to be recorded. This you have to make a tabular column. Even in the exam, you have to make a tabular column of this and show it to the examiner. Then this is one thing. Then another thing is nodal solution, displacement vector sum. Just say okay. Now you see this is one very important thing. What you observe here, okay, see here, node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and all that you have, okay, and as you see here, at this point 4, okay, 4, that is UI and UZ, I made it 0 because it can move only in the horizontal direction because there is a roller support here. At 4, it is moving in the positive direction 3.1334 mm. That means it is moving in this direction, 3.1334 mm. It is perfectly correct. You just verify all other things. That is a different, uh, that is as you see here, at node 1, it is here, it is all 0, 0, 0. At node 4, it is only 3.1334. In all other places, it is positive means it is positive x. Y means if it is negative, it is negative in the direction of y. That is downwards. Okay. In that way, as you see here, if you look at that, if you get X and Y combination positive and negative, that is at node 2, let us say, 0 0.74604 in the positive X direction and in the negative direction, minus 6.579 in the negative direction of Y. That is, Y positive is this, Y negative is that. In that way, this, this is another very important thing what you have to record in your uh, record books or even in the exam you have to make the tabular column. The important thing what I have asked is at this point what exactly is the how exactly the roller R moves horizontally the roller R moves horizontally you should say 3.1334 that is the perfect answer what you got. Okay once you got this you go for element table okay element table define table add you do by sequence number, SMIC1 you take, SA apply, then by sequence number, LS1 you say, let's say okay. LS, SMIC1 is for member forces, LS1 is for member stresses. Just say closer, close. Okay, then list results. If you do that list results, and if you go for element table data, SMIC1, LS1, if you see here, you just say okay. You see here, this is a very important thing. And this, I have told you, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They are all element numbers. I have switched on. See here, 
you, if you see here, element 1, this is subjected to tensile force and tensile stress. Element 2, tensile force, tensile stress, in that way. And if you see element 4, element 2, element 3 and all that, it is all positive. That means tensile stresses. These 1, 2, 3 all uh, tensile stresses. Element 4, if you see here, it is negative. That means element 4 is subjected to compressive stress. Okay. Compressive force of so much. Compressive stress of minus 91.189 Newton per millimeter square in that way. Okay. And in that way, you, you, you just have to analyze. If it is negative, see here, another negative is coming here. 11 also. This 11 also, minus and minus. And 10 also, minus and minus. This is subjected to compressive stress. This is subjected to the compressive stress. That means, this is a very important thing, what you should be in a position to comment. If it is negative, you should say, those elements are subjected to compressive stress. If it is positive, those elements are subjected to tensile stress. And this column will give you force. This column will give you stresses. This you analyze. You know, this also, very important result. What you should what you should uh, copy and show it to your examiner in the examination or even in the record also, this table has to be copied down. Okay. Now, this is about this. Now, what you see here, now, this problem is over now. The problem is over. I got the results. Whatever I have asked, I have already got. Okay. Now, you see here, file, list, log file. Okay. Log file, you see. Whatever I have done here, no, all would have been recorded here. See here, the key points and all that has been recorded. If you see here, this 200 E3 steel has been recorded. Real constant 1 to 3250 has been recorded. Okay. And all, whatever are done by graphic user interface, all would have been recorded here. Now, what I'll do is, once I have recorded here, see here, all loads also, you can you see, minus 280 E3, minus 210 E3, minus 280 E3, minus 360 E3, all you see here, all would have been recorded. Now, what I suggest is, okay, you see here, this uh, file operation is, log file operation also, I'll just tell you first, you copy the entire thing. You copy the entire thing, let's say control C, control C, let's come out, then let us say control C I copied. Okay, now what I'll do, I'll clear start. I'll just remove this. Okay, I'll just remove this. Okay, there's nothing now. There is nothing. Now I have copied already, no? Just I'll put control V. Okay, control V in the Antis command prompt and I'll press enter. Now you see here what exactly will be all steps what I've taken up, all will be displaced. Okay, everything will be displaced. All will be displayed. As you see here, see here, whatever this is, real constant. Okay, solution is done. In that way, you see here, this is, as you see, member forces and member stresses and all that have been recorded. You can cancel off this, you've done. And whatever, all, all possible things. Okay, all, whatever you've done. This is, uh, nodal displacement 3.1334 I said no this also is there in that way all would have been recorded here very important thing now if you want in the log file only you change and give the different values if you want and analyze that is why we call it as analysis here okay here we call it as analysis because even here you see the key points and all that I, uh, I got the listings all, whatever I've done, it, it, it has the list. Okay. Now, what you can do is, this log file, no? That log file, whatever I have here, list log file. Okay. This log file, wherever you want, you make the change. That means that copy and paste it in notebook or uh, no, notepad or uh, word. Make the changes. Make the changes and uh, copy and paste here and re-execute. In that way, any problem, any analysis will become very easy. Now we have completed this problem. Thank you very much for viewing. Thanks, friend. This is the end of session two. And in fact, the problem two is completed in all respect. Thank you very much.